In front of the X-ray tube there's a motorised assembly which allows two different filters to be placed in front of the X-ray aperture. A 24 volt motor drives the, the shutter to position the filter one way or the other. We can remove that and then we can actually look inside the X-ray unit itself. The unit's oil filled and the two ends are held in the two circlips. These are quite easily removed. If we take a look inside, what we'll find is the X-ray tube is actually sitting immersed in oil along with the rotor motors, the windings. There's a rubber membrane which allows expansion for the oil. Underneath here you can just, it's the tube end where the heaters are, and we can just see there's a small plastic insulator in front of it there and the o-ring oil seals on the outside here. Notice the lid itself has been coated with lead to help shielding. This is where the oil removed. These four connections are the heaters inside the tube. This one's got a series one with the small heater and this is a sealing point where the tube is evacuated during manufacturing. On the other end this is where the rubber diaphragm which allows for expansion. This is also held in with a circlip. We can remove that and then pull the diaphragm assembly out. Inside this end we can see there's a high voltage terminal post. This is the connections coming out into the anode and these small ones are for the motor windings which are underneath the base there. If we look closely through this gap you can actually see the windings in the motor. If we take off the rest of the assembly we can release the actual x-ray tube so it's free to be moved. With the connections disconnected we can take off this end support. This is the top of the tube and it's now free to be removed. All that's left now inside the container is the actual windings of the motor stator which can be seen, the windings at the end are visible there. This is the actual X-ray tube. Notice there's a kind of glass sleeve which is also around the, the actual X-ray tube, which is a gap which is held in place with silicon. I guess that's to improve oil circulation. This is the X-ray exit window. And just visible is a rotating anode at the bottom. the very top that's a connection to the anode. 